Hi everyone, this is Trisha Thompson from Gluten-Free Watchdog. Another question that we receive all the time is whether foods that are labeled gluten-free can also include a may contain statement for wheat. And the answer is yes. Now it's important to understand the differences between contain statements for wheat and may contain statements for wheat. So please make sure to also watch the sister video that is all about labeled gluten-free foods and contain statements so that you can understand the difference. I've worn the same color sweater in that video, so it should be easy to find. So back to may contain statements. These statements are used by manufacturers when there is the potential chance of cross contact with wheat or other allergens during processing. So this is different from a contained statement which is regulated under FALCPA and has to do with actual ingredients. So may contain statements you may see processed in the same processing plant as wheat, processed on the same line as wheat, processed using the same equipment as wheat. When it comes to gluten-free foods, the gluten-free claim trumps a may contain statement, meaning that if a food is labeled gluten-free, regardless of a may contain statement, it must contain less than 20 parts per million of gluten. The other thing to understand, which is, I think, really confusing for consumers, is that because these statements are not regulated, some manufacturers choose to use them and some manufacturers choose not to use them, and they appear to have very little bearing on the amount of gluten in a final food product. Now, a few years ago, my colleagues and I did a grain contamination study where we looked at naturally gluten-free grains and flours that were not labeled gluten-free, and we tested them for gluten. But we also looked to see whether they had a may contain statement for wheat. And what we found is that for some of these products that tested well above, some of these grains and flours, testing well above 20 parts per million of gluten did not include a may contain statement for wheat. On the other hand, we found products that tested below the lower limit of quantification for gluten, which is five parts per million, that did include a may contain statement for wheat. So in other words, you could have gone into the grocery store and picked up two bags of the same naturally gluten-free grain, not labeled gluten-free, and if you used the may contain statement to help make your purchasing decision, you could in fact have purchased the product that contained more gluten that was actually contaminated. So this is why we really need may contain statements to be regulated by the FDA. And I also just want to point out that because of issues with cross contact, it really is important that when you are buying naturally gluten-free grains and flours that you make sure to purchase those products that are labeled gluten-free. I hope this has helped. If not, um, please send me questions. I can always clarify and I can always post another video. Thank you so much.